Today we're going to be talking about how to add a custom prefix to your slide numbers in PowerPoint. Frequently for trial, you may have to add slide numbers to your PowerPoints just so that way when you exchange them and there's any objections, the parties have a way of discussing with the judge which slide they're talking about. Uh, but if you have multiple sets of demonstratives or openings and closing slides that you're going to be using, you may want to add a demonstrative number. In federal court, for example, you might add PDX. Uh, as the prefix for your PowerPoint slides or DDX as your prefix. If you're the defendant, I'll show you how you can add those in automatically by getting into the slide masters. So right now, let's go to the computer. I have a PowerPoint that uh, it's not one that I use in a trial. This is from a CLE that I did uh, a short while ago. I just want to have a set of slides that you can kind of look at. And what I've done for this one is if I've made kind of a way that what I normally make on the bottom of a slide is a way that I could put in the slide numbers uh, and any citations that I might need to make along the lower uh, bar of a slide. And I've done the same thing here, uh, even though this was for a CLE and not for a court proceeding. Let's pretend that this was for a plaintiff's opening and I wanted to put PDX1 in front of everything. How will I do that? We'll have to go to the view ribbon and get into the slide master. So when we open up that slide master, we can see here uh, the basic format of every slide. Uh, along the bottom, it shows you those footer kind of areas where things can be added. The lower left is where the date typically gets put in terms of a PowerPoint slide. And the lower right hand slide is where the slide number goes. And if you look at that, it shows you a caret number sign caret. And that tells you the number is whatever slide number it is. And for me to change that, what I'll have to do is I can just add in, uh, click inside that area. It's a text box. And I can click in there to get my cursor in there. And I'll add PDX, capital PDX. And I'll label it PDX1. Let's pretend this is the opening. And I'll put a dot in front of it. So then every slide should be PDX.1 through however many slides I have. I also want to move this to the lower right hand corner and change the font a little bit. So I'm just going to click and drag that down there. And I'll go to the home ribbon to change it to maybe a 10 point font. I'll leave it as Arial because I do like Arial. And I'm going to want the font to be black. Now I'm looking at a black slide master because uh, that's what I was working with. Uh, but if you remember, I have a white bar along the bottom of my slide. So I need black slide number text to show up. Uh, so I'll do that as well. I'll change the font here to black. It's hard to see, but if I select it and highlight it, you could see that it's all still there. All right, and that slide master, and now I can slide master, and I can close the master view. Now you could see the slide has already updated to the new slide number type. Uh, in terms of the numbers. But if I want to get that PDX in there, I have to undo the slide numbers and reinsert them. So let's go to insert slide number. We'll check them all off and then we'll add them back on again. And now it has the PDX in front of it. Why you have to kind of undo it and then redo it, I'm not exactly sure, but that's just the way to do it. And now if I go through all my slides, I see that sometimes my slides don't follow the same pattern. And the reason why that happens is because I've used a couple of different kinds of slides. And so I have to adjust all the different slide masters. It's a kind of a nitpicky thing, but you just get used to it. So we got to go and do that same thing again. And we'll go into the slide master and see now we're working with a different slide type. So on this slide, I will go through it and I'll do the same thing again. I'll add the PDX one dot, I moved it to the corner, and then I will select all that text and make it black. Also make it the same size as the other slide, number 10, and close that master view. Then I have to insert, uninsert, and uninsert, and then reinsert the slide numbers, do that dance. And now I've got it there. And I just do a quick double check on all my slides to make sure there isn't like a third type of slide that someone used. Now, if I look through all my slides, I've got the PDX one dot prefix on almost all of them. So you'll have to go through and here's a third slide type for some reason that I've used. I don't know why I did that, but it turned out that way. And it's just always good to double check just in case this exact scenario occurs. Do the same thing.
x one dot select all the text and make it same size make it black and close the master view uninsert and reinsert and usually within any given PowerPoint people have used one to three different slide uh, template types and you have to go through and change each template type in terms of adding that prefix again something you just want to make sure you go ahead and do ahead of time and check so I'll go through all my sites make sure I've got everything you can go through this relatively quickly all right and it looks like I got them done so now if I go through every slide will have its individual PDX exhibit number with a dot for each page or slide number within that slideshow. Uh, this slide show had happened to have three different templates that I had to go through and individually adjust. The other way you can do it is before you get started is to do that slide number uh, adjustment in the corner uh, and then lock it down on all the slide types or delete any unneeded slide types as you go through. So that way, as anyone builds new slides, uh, that slide number uh, assignment has already been done. So two ways to go about it, either one beforehand and one after. If you have any questions about this process or about slide numbers or about PowerPoint in general, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there.